how to use a shape divider in elementor hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can use a shape divider in elementor so having said that let's just jump into the video so first things first as you can see i'm over here in my dashboard and over here what i want you guys to do is I want you to log into your wordpress website and i want you to install elementor plugin and once it's installed you can go ahead and start you know editing your website with elementor so i'm gonna go ahead and open my website over here and this is how it looks like now over here as you can see we have our page over here at the top and this is going to be the divider over here and it's a very subtle very linear type of divider it's just a basic line that's going over here dividing the sections of different pages now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here at the top and we see the edit with elementor option now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on edit with elementor and we're gonna go into the editor and try to add a different type of divider so over here as you can see this is how it looks like this is the page over here now what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a different background over here so let's go ahead and do that so to do that first um i think we should change the background of this you know uh page because it's pretty white and white does not look really good i mean it's pretty basic so let me just go ahead and go into the style section and change the color up real quick so over here as you can see we have different colors I'm trying to go with something green so let's go with something greenish so that it matches or something blue something sky blue type color which color would look best over here i don't really know i think something like this would look pretty nice something a little bit darker blue something like this yeah all right here we go i think this looks good so we're gonna go ahead and copy the color code all right boom and now what we're going to do is we're going to change the text color keep it white as well there we go now i'm going to change the background oh i deleted that accidentally let me just bring it back i'm going to go ahead and change the color of this one as well put this in here we go yeah it looks good looks really nice now let me just go ahead and into this section as well i'm going to change the color for this one and then we can go ahead and start adding a shape divider so that it looks pretty nice here we go now let me just go ahead and change the color of these texts right here i'm gonna make it white for this one as well just to pop it more and looks a little bit more cleaner name over here and juan carlos his color should also be white there we go I think that looks pretty nice all right now let's go ahead and start adding our shape divider let me just go ahead and edit this out all right here we go let me just open this website up in another tab so that once we have edited out we can see how it looks like so right now this is how it looks like pretty basic right now let's go into the editor i'm going to choose this section real quick over here at the top now you have basically two options you can either add a you know divider at the bottom or the, at the top so if you are trying to add a different divider over on different sections make sure you choose the bottom one because over here at the top is going to be our header so we don't really need that so we're going to add the divider at the bottom so over here go into this edit this section go into style right all right close the background and over here you will see the option shape divider click on shape divider and you will have two options top or bottom if you choose top your divider is going to be shown at the top and if you choose bottom then your divider is going to be shown at the bottom so over here i'm going to choose the bottom option and i'm going to show you how it looks like so once you chose bottom and then you have types so you have a bunch of different types so you have mountains over here as you can see this is how it looks like different mountains and uh, you have drops as well you have triangle you have tilt you have curve you have wave patterns over here you have arrows you have book you know you have clouds as well but i really like mountains so i'm going to choose mountains but i also want to add another shape divider over here at the bottom so in this section so i'm going to choose this one edit this section i'm going to go into shape divider i'm going to choose bottom and i'm going to choose mountains now another thing i want to tell you guys is that you can actually you know uh 
change the length and width of it as well so as you can see you can change the width by just scrolling this bar or you know left to right and you can even change the height of it as well so you have different uh, options for height and you have flip as well so you can flip them and you have bring to front so that it's not at the back it's over onto the divider so that it looks a little bit more cleaner but i think yeah we can go at the back and then in the background i just want to go with the hover yeah transition delay should be there we go now it looks much much better and uh, in shape divider you know since we chose this what I want to do is change the color of it as well because the white does not look a lot cleaner. So let me just update it for you and show you in this website that we opened up. So as you can see, currently there is no divider. Let me just reload the page. Boom, as you can see, this is the divider. As you can see, it does not look good because it's white. You know, it should match the background. So let's go over here. Let me just increase the height a little bit and decrease the width. Yeah, this looks good. Now, let me just go ahead and remember since we, you know, copied the color number for this, the color code for this background. So we can go ahead and paste that color code over here and boom, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, this is how it looks like. We can change the height of it as well. Now, if I click on update, it's going to go ahead and update. And if we come over here into the new website, we're going to reload the page. And as you can see, this is how it looks like the divider. So it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty clean. So now let me do it with this one as well for the one in the bottom one that we created for this section. So I'm going to choose edit this section. I'm going to go into uh, shape divider, choose bottom. I'm going to edit the color of it as well. I'm going to enter in that color and boom, this is how it looks like. And we can change the height of it as well. Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's because it's, uh, you know, the bottom. OK, so let's go ahead and add that at the top. So it won't show because it's the same, uh, you know, color. Now, I don't want clouds, so I want mountains. So this is how it looks like. And we can change the height of it as well. I'm going to put that over here onto the 80 over here. And I'm going to add in the color over here. And as you can see, I guess we need to put the shape divider over here into this section well because of the different colors. So let's try to do that. Or maybe it'll look better over here. Bottom, yeah, pipe, mountains. Where did it go? Here we go. Add in the color. Yeah. So as you can see, it looks like this is coming over here. I think that looks good. Now we just simply update it, go into the uh, new tab over here where we opened it up, reload it, and uh, boom, this is how it looks like. So as you can see, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty nice. So that's how you basically do it. That's how you add a shape divider in your website using Elementor. So having said that, that is it for this video, guys. And if you liked this video, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and make sure to turn on your notification bell. Because if you do that, not only will you be helping us out, but you'll also be getting daily alerts of whenever we upload our videos. We upload daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. So just make sure to hit the bell icon and uh, you'll be notified and you'll be able to consume your daily dose of tech videos and other gadgets and other tools that can help you run or scale your business so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye